Hello, welcome to another edition of Food Sack. I'm here today checking out something very interesting. Probably the weirdest cross promotion of the year, but probably only the second weirdest flavor of Twisties this year. That's right, I'm checking out Twisties brand new Donut King cinnamon donut flavored twisties. Now these were being promoted on Instagram for ages, at least on the twisty Instagram page. A shout out to all my twistygram followers out there. But yeah, they announced this like three months ago, which for someone like myself who tries to keep up to date with this sort of stuff, that is really, really advanced sizzle. Really uncommon that they would be pushing it for so long before eventually releasing it. But Release it, they have, and I am keen to check these out. Let's not dilly-dally, let's just get stuck into it. Alrighty. Boom. Uh, mm-hmm, interesting. Wow, that is a strong, strong cinnamon flavor. Just give you a look there. Undeniably uh, cinnamony, cinnamony sort of smell. In fact, they smell really similar to the cinnamon flavored Fruit Loops that I checked out a while ago. But anyway, what do these taste like? Let's have a go. Hmm. Just give you a close-up look of a typical twisty. Let's check it out. Mm-hmm. A really strong cinnamon smell. Like on the upper palate, really a lot of cinnamon. Hmm, this is an interesting flavor. I probably wouldn't have immediately picked it as cinnamon if I weren't like forewarned that it was cinnamon donut flavored. These are not bad, but like they're kind of salty or um, like saltier than I would have thought. And also they're really not that sweet. In fact, like one of the strongest flavors is the unadulterated twisty ingredient, whatever the, what are twisties made out of? Like the cereal, the corn and rice mixture that makes up the twisty. That's like kind of the strongest flavor, which is kind of weird. Well, it's not the stronger flavor, but you get like the strong note of that and not much sugar. Really not much sugar. And I think the difference is that on a cinnamon donut, you know, they're dusted in sugar, in grains of sugar. You can you can literally see the sugar on a donut, but you can't really see the sugar there. Maybe you can, or maybe that's salt. I don't know, but it doesn't have that strong sugar hit. And these really aren't that very strong in sugar. But you know, nothing goes with a cinnamon donut quite as well as a hot cup of coffee which is what I've done. I went down to Donut King to try their coffee next to the cinnamon donut. Now they actually had a bit of a display there for the twisties. They had a pretty good deal. You could get two donuts and a bag of the twisties for $5, which is not bad. Unfortunately, I'd already bought these from Coles earlier and they were $2.70, which is a fair price, whatever. But anyway, let's check this out. Do the donut flavored twisties go well with a coffee? Let's have a try. Um, you know what, like, that's not bad. That's not a bad combo. This coffee is actually pretty good. Donut King are uh, not bad at the coffee either. I might even just uh, take this off and um, see if this combo is any good. Just um, dip that in there. Hmm, you know, it's not as bad as, say, a chicken twisty in coffee would be. It's not amazing, but, uh, you know, it's serviceable. It's really not bad. So, where does this fit in the, uh, in the pantheon of twisty flavors? Well, it's still no chicken twisty. Chicken twisties are the other zenith of twisties, to be honest. Cheese Twisties, a second place. 
So these are definitely a novelty. Um, the only question is if they're better than raspberry or worse. I don't know. To be honest, I think they're sort of better. I think the corn and rice mixture, like flour mixture that makes up a twisty, is closer to a cinnamon donut than like whatever fiber a raspberry flavor is carried upon. Does that make any sense? I don't know. I think I'm talking out of my bum hole. Like, the, the, I don't know, the raspberry just didn't really, the raspberry flavor they had didn't really work well with the twisties, to be honest. I know I gave it a pretty positive review, but, you know, I bought two packs of those raspberry twisties. I haven't opened the second one yet. Like, I did not yearn for them after eating them once. These ones, you know, I mean, probably similarly, I probably won't get these again, but um, they, they are slightly better than the raspberry twisties. So... A ringing endorsement from Food Sack, I suppose. I don't know. One other thing they do have on the back here. It says, find your local donut king and compare these with a famous hot cine yourself. Cine, I guess, is marketing speak for a cinnamon donut. It's certainly not young people slang for a cinnamon donut, but... While I was in Donut King, I thought I would do just that. So, I guess this explains the cross-promotion. Why? Oh, jeez. Wow, she... I bought... I, I paid for two, but she gave me three. Wow. Anyway, I, I guess this kind of explains the cross-promotion, why it's specifically Donut King and not, um, like, just cinnamon donut flavoured. So, there is some cross-promotion happening. I'll just taste this next to... The uh, cinnamon twisty, see which is better. Mmm, wow. I mean, look at the sugar on that compared to the sugar on them. There's no competition. This donut absolutely beats the cinnamon twisties. I don't even know why they're inviting us to compare the two because there's no competition. It's like roast beef next to beef flavored chips. Like, which is going to win? Of course, the roast beef. Wow, I haven't had these for a while. This is actually way better than I thought it would be. They cooked this fresh in the store. So, I don't know, Donut King, if it was your idea to align yourself with Twisties to sell more donuts, then it bloody worked. Good job. You've, um, yeah, you, you've, you've definitely gotten, like, some money out of me today and maybe some more money out of other people in the future. So, anyway, well done, Donut King. Well done, Twisties. I will enjoy uh, this combination uh, that's my dinner. That'll, that'll do me. So anyway, many thanks for watching. Many thanks for liking and subscribing. Please, uh, please do that. And, uh, I will catch you all next time. Cheers. What about if I put the twisty in the donut? Like that. Like that. That is, uh, that is not that great. The only royal I recognize is Donut King. I hereby pledge my undying fealty to Donut King.